This like young girl hard squint I D P and welcome back to another video. This video is going to be very quick and very simple and very very descriptive. So if you have no clue what I'm on about, then you just might want to just skip this video because I'm going to be on about impact wrestling or GFW wrestling, RTNA, or whatever it's called now. Because it's gone through so many names that it's just hard to keep track now. Next thing you know, it'll be called, like, a hot dog man or something. Um, so basically, Ed Norton is the president of Impact Wrestling. And Jeff Jarrett, or JJ, is the chief executive officer of Impact Wrestling. Um, and also, him and his father, Jerry Jarrett, they founded... Um, Impact Wrestling, or GFW Impact Wrestling, or whatever. They also founded GFW, which is a separate company to Impact Wrestling, but now they've merged into one because they're both a set, because Jeff Jarrett owns both of them now. Well, don't own both of them, but it's part of both of them, so now it's GFW Impact Wrestling, I believe. Um, but they've gone through many names, gone from like NWA, TNA, to TNA Wrestling, to Impact Wrestling, to GFW Impact Wrestling. Um, and now they've got Unified Champions, and they're called Unified GFW Champions. Um, so the Unified GFW World Champion, and Alberto Al Patron, um, he defeated Lashley at Slammiversary 15. There's also Unified GFW Tag Team Champions, which are LAX, or Santana and Ortiz, and they defeated Decay on March 30th. Um, and then there's also Unified GFW Knockouts Champion, Sienna, and then Sienna defeated Rosemary at Slammiversary 15 to become the new unified world champion and then also there's not a unified but there's an X division champion um, and he is Sanjay Dutt and he defeated Loki on June 15th in Mumbai India and that was the first uh, Impact was the first ever company um, American company to travel to India to record a show which is groundbreaking I bet that annoys Vince McMahon like crazy um, but yeah Sanjay defeated Loki um, because Sanjay was born in India classic wrestling um, but now Trevor Lee has stole a belt from Sanjay Dutt and my prediction for that situation is for DJ Z the best X Division wrestler ever to take the to defeat Sanjay Dutt in a title match but not get the belt and then chase Trevor down and get the belt because them two have history and then maybe Trevor's gonna like get really annoyed or something and actually try and win the belt because it seems like when the Helms Dynasty was a thing, they kicked out Andrew, and then Trevor started doing quite badly. And now Gregory Shane Helms has left, so now Trevor's by himself. Well, Trevor and Shane pretty much backed Trevor into a corner by himself, because he's alone again now. And last time he was alone, I can't remember him doing anything really, like, not that good. Um, but the Impact Zone, where you can buy tickets and stuff to watch Impact, is in Florida, Orlando, Universal Studios. I bet that annoys um, WWE as well, the fact that they've got the WWE Universe, Universal Studios. I bet they wanted to go in there, but Impact is in there, so they can't do it. So, rest in peace, <laughs> WWE. Um, Impact has also got, like, I think it's five Impacts in a row, the highest rated Impacts at all, um, of all time. Not at all, what am I on that? Um, yeah, and they basically just keep getting better and better, like, much more views each time. It's crazy. And I bet when DJZ comes back, the views will go even higher, because DJZ is amazing. And sorry if all you could hear was because of that fan right there, but it's absolutely boiling in my room right now, absolutely smouldering. So... I have to have it on, technically. It's on the it's on the lowest um speed. Speed? Yeah, speed. It's on the lowest speed, but oh well. Yeah, that's a quick update on where Impact Wrestling is going. And mo make sure to subscribe and like to become a member of the Squint IDP Army. And don't forget to too sweet along with me. Too sweet.